I don't always sell gear on eBay, but when I do, it fills me with anxiety and dread. And my most recent experience introduced me to a new scam that I have personally never seen before. So buyer and seller, beware. I've sold cameras, computers, lenses, monitors, and other various items on eBay. And every single time, it's stressful. Because of all the horror stories I've heard about sellers shipping out iPad boxes filled with rocks, or buyers saying an item never arrived and eBay automatically issuing them a refund. Or in the early days where there were no real safeguards to protect buyers. I had a friend that wanted to buy a high-end camera and the item never arrived and the seller disappeared. The anxiety when I sell is real because I don't know if the buyer is legit and they will honor their side or try something shady to effectively steal the item and get their money back. And I'm pretty sure that most legit buyers feel the same way as they wait for the item to be sent to them so they can check it out. And it shouldn't feel like this. When someone buys something from an online retailer like Amazon, they know that they have a return policy and the buyer and the seller are both protected. But the scam that I wanna flag, the one that I've never experienced before, I'm pretty sure other people have, but I posted a Mac mini for sale on eBay, got an offer, accepted the offer, the buyer paid promptly, the buyer had a positive rating, as do I, all was running smoothly. Then within 30 minutes, I got a message tagging the Mac Mini saying, hi, thanks for the item, I've moved to my sister's home and you have to ship it here to the shown below photo. Spelling mistakes aside, naturally, red flags went up. I was thinking that this dude is trying to scam me. So I flagged it with eBay as its policy only to send it out to the address that's on the account. So I messaged back saying that I will only send it to the address on the account and they'll have to add it to the account or otherwise the sale will be canceled. I wait, no response, so I canceled the order. Fine, whatever, nothing to it. Very quickly after it was canceled, the buyer messaged me saying, what's up, why is it canceled? Now I'm confused thinking, seriously, you're asking me this question? But here's the thing that I didn't realize. The buyer and the person that sent me the message about the different address were two different users. And because I was reading this through my email and responding in eBay, I didn't even think to cross check the usernames because it happened all so fast. The offer, the sale, the payment, and then the request to ship it somewhere else. That message came into my email inbox and it felt like the same string of messages because the way eBay sends their messages is through email and you only get that last message plus the image of the item that you posted. So it all felt like the same conversation. Someone was apparently following the item, waited for it to sell, and then messaged me really quickly to ship it somewhere else. The sneaky little buggers. So that's the thing that we all need to watch out for. If you're selling something, watch out for this. Double check that the user that is messaging you is the person that you're speaking with that is the buyer. Check their profile, check the positivity history, and obviously don't send it to another address that is not part of their eBay profile. Thankfully, the actual buyer was legit and the sale actually happened because they were really cool. I explained the whole situation. I said, hey, look, this is why it was canceled. This is what's happening. If he's still interested, he's gonna have to buy it again. And everything went through. They received their item, the payment went through. So happy ending overall. But still, I almost fell for it. Well, not necessarily fell for it, but I almost lost the sale because of it. So technically I did fall for it because I didn't do my due diligence to make sure that it was the actual buyer, not some scammy douchebag that was trying to scam both of us out of this. But once again, the whole process with selling was stressful. And I'm pretty sure that the buyer was stressed out and had some anxiety as well until they received the package and were able to confirm that the thing that I sold them and they paid for was the actual item they wanted. But it did get me looking into other places that I can sell my gear at. There's Gear Focused, KEH Camera, Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji, local camera stores always do trade-ins and they buy used equipment. But all of these have their own issues. eBay has high commissions, so do some of these places. If it's the local camera stores, they're geo-locked to that location. Facebook Marketplace and Kijiji has shady buyers and sellers. And I think the next time I sell a camera, I'm gonna try out Gear Focus. They have the lowest fee at 5% as opposed to eBay's 10% or sometimes higher. Though their reach may not be as good as eBay's, so your potential buyers may be smaller. And if you know any alternatives, definitely drop a comment. I'd love to hear about them and your experience using them. 
In a sea of scams, there are always new ones that try to catch you when you're not paying attention. That's what happened to me in this case. So keep your eyes peeled. As always, thanks for watching. <laughs>